What we have here is my 1969 Camaro Chevy RS. It's built to compete in the GTB class, and the reason I chose the GTB class is because, one, the cars of that era are much cooler than I think the newer generation cars, and two, it's more of a challenge for me as a driver and a racer and a builder of my own car to compete with the newer model cars. So I, I enjoy that challenge of it. It was a very early production car. It started off as kind of a little rest on mod and over the years I kind of modified it. About three years ago is when I really bit the bullet to do it. So I started by just basically removing the body from the original chassis, uh, doing an aftermarket custom chassis for it. It's kind of based on a Morrison Scott Mock thing. It's got an Alice 7 motor in there. And basically it stays in its configuration. It's still running the stock crank and titanium rods. Uh, it's got some Mali pistons in there. And it's, a couple little tweaks to the head, a spec cam in there, and, and some better induction. So that bumped up the horsepower for me significantly because the motor was a little tired. It had eight years worth of use on it. And now I think when we take it to the dyno, it pumped out about 660 horse and 598 pounds of torque. So that, that really made a difference on the road course and the feel and take off from the line was great. From there, I just started going back and put the subframes in it, cut out the wheel wells on the inside, put mini tubs in it, and ended up going with a very built uh, DSE four link in the back with a floater. For this car, I think in the autocross, it suffers in its turning ability. It's not that crisp, not that precise. It could probably use a little more turning radius. And you know, forward bite is pretty good, but it just doesn't seem to be as crisp as I want it. I'm not sure really hard to articulate that. It seems to turn well, but on the tight technical stuff, it suffers a little bit where that car wakes up is on the road course. It's got the power to do it, and road courses are not that tight, so I can just let that car fly, and it's, it's fun.